Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now, make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So to start, I'm going to rewrite 25 here as 5 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 4 minus 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4, this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to be equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So I have this minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 5. So I have x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So now, this is going to give me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So, for x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, or sorry, let's first start with x squared minus 5 equals 0. I'm going to first start by adding 5 on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and I'm, I am left with x squared is equal to 5. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to square root of 5. Now, the square root of x squared, that's simply equal to x. And the square root of 5, that's going to, sorry, this is actually going to be positive or negative square root of 5. So these are two solutions of x. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do x squared plus 5 equals 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to first subtract 5 on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and now I have x squared is equal to negative 5. Now I'm going to take the square root on both sides again. So now I have the square root of x squared is square root of negative 5. Remember the square root of x squared is simply x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 5. However, the square root of negative 5 this is the same thing as the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know the square root of negative 1, this is equal to the imaginary number i. So x is equal to a positive negative square root of 5i. So these are my four solutions to this problem. All right, so I have square root of 3 to the power of x is equal to 81. Now the square root of 3, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 half. So now I have 3 to the power of 1 half to the power of x is equal to 81. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 1 half to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 1 half times x, which is simply 3 to the power of x over 2. So I have 3 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 81. Now, 81, this is going to be the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. Because 3 to the power of 4, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3 is 81. So now I'm going to replace 81 with 3 to the power of 4. So now I have 3 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, I have 3 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 4. And notice how both of these bases are the same. 
and both have threes for bases, meaning that the exponents, x over 2 and 4, these are equal to each other as well. So I have x over 2 is equal to 4. And now this is just a simple equation to solve. All I have to do is multiply both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8. So now to check, I have the square root of 3 to the power of x is equal to 81. So we know that x is equal to 8, so now I have the square root of 3 to the power of 8 is equal to 81. Now remember, the square root of 3, that's the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 half. So now I have 3 to the power of 1 half to the power of 8 is equal to 81. Now this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 half times 8 is equal to 81. 8 times 1 half is 4, so I have 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81, and 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So I have 81 is equal to 81, and this is right, so my solution is right. Alright, so I have 8 to the power of x plus 1, plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 72. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 8 to the power of x plus 1, plus a to the power of x is equal to 72. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So a to the power of x plus 1, that's going to equal a to the power of x times a to the power of 1. So now I have this plus a to the power of x is equal to 72. Now from here, because both of these terms have a to the power of x, I'm going to factor out a to the power of x. So now I have a to the power of x times, well, a to the power of x times a to the power of 1 divided by a to the power of x, simply a to the power of 1, plus a to the power of x divided by a to the power of x is 1. Now this is equal to 72. Now, 8 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 8. So 8 plus 1, that's going to equal 9. So I have a to the power of x times 9 is equal to 72. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 9, so then these two cancel out. Now I'm left with a to the power of x is equal to 72 divided by 9, which is 8. Now, 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So if I replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 3x is equal to 3. So I have 3x is equal to 3. So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So this is my answer. So now to check, I have... 8 to the power of x plus 1 plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 72. I know that x equals 1, so 8 to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 8 to the power of 1 is equal to 72. 8 to the power of 1 plus 1 is the same thing as 8 to the power of 2, which is 64, plus 8 to the power of 1 is 8 is equal to 72. 64 plus 8 is 72. So if 72 is equal to 72, and because this is right, my solution is right.